today i am going to talk about the new hoverify inspector so when you toggle it on you will see that the toolbar is at the bottom by default in the toolbar you have this toggle playback option to toggle the inspection on and off uh, you have all the tools uh, by default you have this elements tool enabled which is your style inspection tool at last you have the option to close the inspector when you hover over an element you will see the styles and bunch of information about that element i will dock this window by just clicking over the element and you will see uh, the tag select the position of the element uh, height and width the rendered font uh, this is a google font so you can even click over it to uh, and it will take you to the google fonts page then you have the all the extracted colors and after that you have this a uh, tab view with three options first is visual then code then html let's look at the visual uh, editor you can change the individual value by just dragging over it and you can also change the unit and even enter the value manually you can do this for all numerical values mostly so you can do this for margin padding um and other values after that we have display you can change the display of the uh, element and when you select it to grid or flex you get bunch more uh, options so in grid you get grid flow align item justify items um and in flex you get direction wrap child elements and align items justify content um i will set it back to block um you can change the opacity of the element by just dragging over it after that you have typography so you can change the uh, font family of the element now hoverify has a close integration with google fonts so you can change the uh, font family by just using arrow keys um and it will show you the preview in life uh, in uh, in the real time uh, you can also type the font that you want so let's just say i want roboto and i will press enter to select that font and it will change it for me you can change the font family the color of the font uh, the size of the font the um, letter spacing line height and the alignment of the Uh, font alignment of the text uh, right now background don't have much options so you can only just change the background color um, then you have border you can change the all the um, things related to the border and at last you have position i will reset this um, element now and go over to the code tab now code tab shows you the styles according to the uh, application of different uh, media queries and the normal style so right now this uh, media uh, this media query is satisfy this condition is true at the moment so you will see all the styles related to that first and after that the normal styles so um, and even when you uh, whenever you change any um, value over to the visual editor uh the the styles will be applied to the media query rather than the normal styles because this is uh, the first um uh, applied style to the element the code editor has uh, have uh, have got bunch of changes so you have this now this toggle button to toggle e each individual line the syntax highlighting is now real time so you can add new you so you can add new styles and it will syntax highlight the code in real time um at last you have this html tab where you can change the html attributes and the inner html at the top you have this uh, reset style option at second you have this uh, export to code pen and save as file option uh, you can now save the elements to a file and even export to code pen like before after that you have some copy option to copy the code changes uh, selector or copy the unix selector i will move towards the next tool which is the edit tool which is used to edit the copy of the uh, page um and after that you have the 
trash tool to hide or erase the element so you can hide them um or erase them which will uh, which will stop uh, which will basically set their display to none and they will stop taking uh, space in the page after that you have the fonts uh, now fonts is showed in this view and like the inspection window um, all the fonts shown are here are the rendered font you can toggle the show iframes if there are iframes in the page you can the fonts can also be extracted in the, from the iframes then you have this color palette and same goes for uh, this so you can extract the color palette from all the iframes of the page and it will show you the colors which you can click and copy to the clipboard at last you have the search option and it is uh, basically same as before you can just type the uh, selector and it will select all the element and show it to you you will see that uh, some of the tools are missing so for example um, CS by CSS box grids um, global CSS global JavaScript is missing um, all of them will be there in the hoverify uh, but in different places so CSS box and grids will go to the settings in the inspector settings and the global CSS and JavaScript go, will go to the debug um, tool uh, so this was the new inspector I hope you would have liked it and if you have any feedback and suggestions please let me know in the comments thank you